Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Make sure you enjoy the episode and hit the subscribe button. Love. How you feeling, mate? Hello. Your uniform looks great, bro. I'm uh, sponsored by Goons Club. Wearing the uh, the box tee and the trucker cap. Yeah, man. Really appreciate you um, getting me involved in uh, fitting a tee and all of that kind of Chris stuff. Chris pulled up and I didn't really like the shorts that I was going to wear were in the wash. So I was like, you know what? Let's Gooms out for this episode. Yeah. So Gooms out. If you do want to buy this merch, it will be available never <laughs> uh, as these are one time pieces. But we will drop merch at some point. It will happen. Yeah. Thanks for including me, H, as well, and getting everything fitted. Um. <laughs> Listen, either way... Paige went to the tailors and got his t-shirt fit nice to him. You're and saying it like I just went for that. I took like five pairs of trousers and got them all fit. Thanks for the heads up though, innit? But yeah, no, no, it's calm. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, episode 31. Damn right. Ready for another banger. Roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Comedy. Is it business? You need to start businesses from this podcast. We, we have everything. You can start. I think people have started businesses from this podcast. Um, yeah, probably. From... Um, no, like they have. I'm not going to name names, but some people that have reached out. Uh-huh. It's pretty fucking cool. cool. I know what's cooler. Go on. I had a late night the other night. I messaged Chris. I was like, bro, so I thought of my, this is my very own conspiracy theory. Oh shit. Like, You're going straight in. I actually forgot. I thought of this for the podcast and um, like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you until then. Like Chris was like, come on, man, tell me. I was like, nah, man, I need a reaction. The thing and is, this- I'm scared because this can go so badly. This Nah, no what way. do you mean nah, bro? <laughs> I th- listen, I think it's plausible. Whether I think it's genuinely true or not, I don't know. Like, I was I was watching something the other night and it made me think of it. <laughs> I, like, I don't know if it is true, wh- how plausible it is. But do you remember when... Okay, so it's about Jake Paul. Okay. Do you, remember when, do you remember when Nate Diaz choked out the Logan Paul lookalike? Yeah. Do you think that that was like a, uh, like a publicity stunt to sell more tickets to the fight to... Because like there's that hate there between the pools and Nate. Well, Nate actually openly spoke about that on the Full Send pod. I haven't, I haven't like, listened two to weeks it. ago, uh-huh. and he said that it, like the lookalike basically came for him and was giving him shit, and he acted in self defense. So yeah, we heard a very different side of the story. But do you think that maybe either they set it up between camps or like he Jake and Logan like paid him to go and do that because Jake was funding his lawsuit after. Which I, nah, I, I think no, it was, was Logan. Logan even. Yeah. Which, to be honest, is fair enough, anyways. That in itself, they probably look. They're both very clever marketing kind of individuals. Like they probably saw that as ammunition and were like, "Fuck it, let's make the, like, yeah, like yeah. let's let's keep this go, let, like keep it go, keep it going" type thing. I don't, listen. I don't think it's like crazy plausible, but I think it's definitely a possibility. So is that the big thing that you were like? No, nah, I just thought. I just, thought sick, I, I just think oh. that would be a clip. To be honest with you, I thought <laughs> I, I thought of it the other night when I was watching the Jake Paul doc. This is ages ago, and I read my notes. But yeah, nah. I d- it's, oh, it's crazy bro. to think about. No, because these guys, like, they do so much to, to plan everything. Yeah, no, true. They, uh, it was just like an idea. Like, I don't genuinely, like, I'm not adamant that this is. I can't, like, like, when you said, like, I've got something to say to you, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, God. Because I wanted to have that conversation with you there and then. So I was just excited to have it with you. <laughs> then I was like, nah, I was like, let me save it for the pod and see what you actually think, like, <laughs> live on the pod. <laughs> oh, man. The Jake Paul doc is sick, though, man. It, it, it showcases why he really is so good at what he does. Like, I, I love Jake, man. He actually said that he didn't he didn't think that it did him enough justice. Um, did you watch the one with where him, where him and Logan butted heads a bit or not? He actually said, like, in the doc, like, they didn't show enough how hard I actually work. Yeah. Like, it was a lot. Obviously, they showed a bit, but a lot of it was more like a highlight reel of all of the successes, yeah, yeah, which yeah. everyone's kind of already seen. Um, that have been following him on his journey and it's like they collided all the best bits and put it in one episode to the masses yeah, yeah. which effectively to people that don't know who he is they can see how much he achieved in such a short period of time and it like looks amazing but the way that he looked at it was like the people already kind of know because I'm that guy like I wanted them to yeah, see yeah. a different side which they don't normally get to see I, um, I actually wish that there was more episodes than just the one. It's actually a series like they're doing it with someone else as well. Like it's not just him. He was just oh, si- episode one, and okay. then they're going into different people in different like realms. Who's next? They've been doing a Tyson Fury one. I'm pretty sure I saw advertised. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to, the heavyweight division needs to sort themselves out, man. I, I mean, I'm not really that clued up. I don't really follow the boxing unless I see a couple of press conferences and it's a familiar face. I'm not really that involved. I don't follow it religiously, but I think like any normal kind of 
the casual boxing fan can understand that yeah. like all of these big fights like have to happen like Fury needs to fight someone big mm. which isn't happening I'm pretty like Joshua's the, the whole like a joke like, he, like not like a joke like is in good but he's a fucking mess the Garcia tank was supposed to be the first one to like tick it over mm. and to show everyone that look these guys effectively can keep fighting people and keep their record as high as possible but they're butting heads early whilst they're in their primes so there can't be that conversation of what if or yeah, yeah. if you hit, had him at this time or if he, they, do you know what I mean and they both got paid for it and it was one of the biggest fights of, of the year and will be I think I like the UFC is just so much better at this yeah but I think that just comes from if everyone fights everyone and that's the mentality of the fighters and people from above like Dana are pushing it and it's like if you're not fighting and you're not active then it's okay. like you, do you know what I mean like I think I think it all just filters through. I think boxing's a lot more pati- political than than the UFC. I think the UFC is like, yeah, we're gonna make shitloads of money, but everyone's gonna fight everyone, and if you don't like it, go somewhere else. I think it's just exciting, man. Like all the fights that everybody wants are happening. Mm. I don't know. The thing is, they get rewarded with it though. Well, like, the UFC fighters. Yeah, bro. Like, the, the, there's the whole thing with fighters' pay, isn't it? Yeah, but that's the fighters' pay is like some of the guys at the bottom might only get 15k for a fight. Which is fair enough. 15k for a fight if you're fighting four times a year it's 60k a year bro like to be a professional yeah. UFC athlete and GMS creative agencies turning over more than you like that's a bit it's a bit of shit <laughs> do you know what I mean it is though like that's the whole like you're getting in there and risking your life for 15k that's why yeah, this whole joke is your life though because boxing well, it is boxing's way more detrimental to fighters than bro UFC you can, is. you can go into that octagon and not come out or you can go into that octagon and come out with Serious brain no, damage I, with I, a I snap know, leg. It's, with it's, it's so much less likely to come out of an octagon with brain damage than a boxing ring. That's like statistically a fact, bro. Brain damage, yeah, because you're just it's just for the head. But in general, you can land funny off of a takedown, or you can snap your spine, or look at McGregor. He snapped his leg. If it weren't yeah, yeah. McGregor and it was someone that was at the bottom, we wouldn't even have heard about it, and the motherfucker wouldn't have fought for two years. Then what's he gonna do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where the 15k per fight to go in there and effectively risk your body isn't fair but the guys at the top it's not 15k I hear what you're saying but it's the same conversation as like a footballer it's like nah it's yeah, not man, like, man. Oh, like they get paid too much it's kind of like the opposite it's not bro because a footballer and, and uh, somebody that's going into no, combat it, when, sport when I say that I, mean, I just mean like the amount of it's, it's, it's like the, it's like the conversation between men and women footballers yeah but my example for this is men footballers get paid a significantly larger amount yeah uh-huh. Because they bring in so many more like views, yeah. But these guys that are only getting fifteen k, then like no one's coming to watch them at all. So they should be getting less. I guess. Do, do I understand what you're saying, but I think it's completely different because footballers turn up every single day and train and turn up as a team every single day, and they go and and it's a fixed contract, and you might get bonuses for winning, etc. And that's the same in the UFC, but you're playing every single week. You're playing and training and getting your payment every single month in the UFC that's not the case you'll be on the contract for okay well for your next six fights you're going to get this much doesn't matter how hard you train doesn't matter where you camp it like do you know what I mean you have to pay for your own coach your own camp yeah, yeah, like yeah. footballers bro they turn up all the staff are paid for everything's there no, all no, the no, facilities I'm not, I'm not are using there like everything like within football as an example I'm using like men versus women like if that makes sense like the reason that the men get more is because they bring in more money so if a fight if there's a fighter that's got a bigger name I'm not. I'm not saying. Money. Okay, but McGregor going and getting ten mil for a fight, and the the person at the start of his card in the same night getting fifteen k, is completely different to England's women being in the World Cup final, and the men's being in the World Cup final because more people are going to watch that. Like it's you, foot, football and combat sport is very different. Yeah, you can say there's risks to it, but it's a lot less than going in and saying the other person that's opposite you wants to take your head off. That's not the aim of football. <laughs> That's the aim yeah. of this combat sport. So there's more risk in it. And the footballers get paid more. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the women fit footballers are going to be taking home more than 60k a year, bro. If I mean, if you're on a UFC card, you're at the top of your game. You're not fighting in a Bellator or anything like this. You're in the Premier League of MMA. 15k is pennies, like, for what they're doing anyway. Mm. Fuck all of that anyway. We're obviously on the topic of Premier League and stuff. Seasons back, man. It's a good fucking feeling, isn't it? 
It's a good feeling, but we're not top of the league. We were shit the last... Arsenal was shit, man. Last I 20, fell asleep. 20, last 20 minutes of the game, we were shit. Yeah, you were asleep. I fell asleep. I'm buzzing. The, the, the day this pod comes out, we're, we're at Crystal Palace away. We better get a fucking we result. It's a tough place to yeah, go, isn't it? Always. We're, but Zaha's gone. Team. Zaha's a Galatasaray, and he's always used to turn up against yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, man, I'm 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 feeling good about this season for Arsenal. KDB's out for a four months, bro. That's big. Mm. Like I, I actually didn't even know that he was out. Four months, bro. I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't, I haven't even seen that. De Bruyne is out for four months. So we've no. just lost Timber, but they just lost De, De Bruyne. Last game of the season. Yeah, he went off after like I can't remember when he went off, but he he went off. He walked off himself. It's like it's no good. Uh, <laughs> but like obviously they've got immense squad depth that gives yeah, people yeah. like Bernardo and Foden an opportunity to come in and shine and even Cole Palmer now the youngster but like none of them are KDB mm-hmm. they'll come in and they'll do a job and they'll still create stuff but pff, I, I don't think there's anybody when he's on his game that's better at him in his position in the world no I want to talk about something like still football but different to the Premier League but Neymar man finishing his career at 31 basically it's a big fucking he, payday, he bro. Won, he won one Champions League, no major individual trophies, which is bizarre. Like he, but he wouldn't have done that anyway. Now, if he didn't go to PSG, PSG, he would have had so much more potential to win something like a Ballon d'Or. Bro, who's he going to win a Ballon d'Or over? You've got people like Haaland coming in and breaking records in the Premier League in his first season. You have got people like Mbappe coming up and getting stronger every single season. Haaland will win the Ballon d'Or this year, won't he? I mean. He went to City and won the treble, bro. Uh-huh. Won the top really? goal scorer. Yeah, yeah. And in January, there's so much more that he could probably do between now and then. Will he be the youngest person to have won Ballon d'Or? I don't know Messi statistics younger? on that. I know Messi was young when he got his first one. He was like, uh, was Messi 20? Because Haaland's like, is he 22? I don't know. I'll fact check it now. Oh, Let's have a look. Love a fact check. Tingles my balls. So Messi won his first Ballon d'Or in 2009 when he was 22. How old's Haaland? I think Haaland might be around that age. Yeah, not around that age, but I think he might be like 20. Yeah, bro. Haaland. Bro, Haaland's birthday was the day before mine. Oh. July 20, 21st, 2000. 2000? So, yeah. Bro, that makes it... Oh, shit. Fuck, is he... She's all right. Right now, he will be 23. So, in January, he will be 23 when the Ballon d'Or comes around. So, he would have missed it by a year. That's so crazy, bro. So, Pep will have the two youngest Ballon as d'Or if, winners ever. Players winning the Ballon d'Or now. Say it, don't yeah. spray it. <laughs> Players winning, players winning the Ballon d'Or now were born in like the same segment of time as us. 2000, bro. bro we're the, not babies anymore, I would have been G. in the same year as him at school. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would have, bro. Nah. It's 2000 and 2001 I, were in my year. Yeah, but he's July, so he would have young one of the year above us. And then September, if he was September 2000, then he would have been in our year. Oh, shit. Trust me. Oh, shit. Wait, so he was... He's a year he older been, than me, bro, by a day. Me. So he would have been... In the year above me, but like one of the later ones to turn, whatever age it was. So he would have been one of the youngest in his age group uh-huh. at school. What, why? I don't get why he would have been the year above. I know this is so relevant right, right now. You saying he's the year above us? Bro, his birthday is the day before mine. Yeah. So how could he, the year before? So oh. how would he be in my year? Yeah, bro, he's... Uh, oh, fuck. I don't know. He's a year older yeah, than yeah, me, bro. Yeah, a year yeah, and yeah. one day oh, older okay. than me. Yeah, yeah. And then in like... In September, so the oh, people so that were the oldest in your year. Than, fucking hell, you were saying his birthday was one day before yours, and I was thinking. Yeah, not the year. actual exact day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. A hell. year and one day yeah, older yeah, than yeah. me, he is. I wonder what he gets. <laughs> a lot. He Isn't gets it? a lot, bro. How, um, There's crazy money in that shit, man. I'm sure some of the listeners are probably interested, man. Like, just how we've been. Like, how, how have you been, bro? Um, That's what I've been, because it's been a little while since we've last done it. I know, I know. And you know what it is? It makes me so happy that, like, I'm, we're starting to get a lot more positive feedback from our in-house episodes, like, yeah, and I feel yeah. like it's like the same collection, like the co- same collective of people that are like, bro, are really starting to enjoy. Should, oh, quickly on, on our next on our next in-house, smelling salts. I've tried them before personally. What? Theo Vaughn and Joe Rogan did them. Shits and gigs did them. It's time for the Goons podcast to do them. I, think I don't know if I want segment. that. It'll be a funny segment for us to do. I'm just saying it from now. Next in house, I'm going to order some after this pod. I think we're going to have to we're do it do. towards the end though, because I think it will yeah, throw bro, me. It only lasts for like a minute. Isn't like you're like. You, you That'd be a funny it, clip. You feel it in the back of you. you That'd feel be a it like funny in the clip. Back of like your head, bro. Like I can't describe the first time that I did it. Like <laughs> you did, I didn't expect. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of Von when he was on me, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah dude, I'm going to go in for another one, dude." <laughs> <laughs> the best the best time for the smelling salts is when they've been open for it's like a month. Lift. Nah, oh. no, no, no. When they've been open for a month and they've had time for the smell just to get a little bit less. 
Like and what we're gonna have to do it fresh out of the packet? Yeah, bro, I'm gonna open it fresh. Then. Nah, I've actually still got one in my in my gym bag that I used to take to the gym, but it's like too old now to even smell bad. But yeah, anyway, okay, Sorry, whatever. On, on the just, topic I of, just, I just wanted to say that, that <laughs> I thought of this earlier. We're gonna do smelling salts. So yeah, drop. We how many comments do we need? <laughs> I don't know. Salts. We, we only get one. We only now. get one or two, and it's normally me and you. Five, five <laughs> comments. Five comments, and two of the comments will be me and Chris as well, and we'll do smelling salts <laughs> on the pod. There you go. So three of you comment. Yeah, no, yeah. Let's 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 get the pod to fifteen likes. Listen, fifteen of you watch. Yeah. yeah. If just ten percent of the viewers watch, we'll get over fifteen. Uh, like we'll get over fifteen. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm not really looking forward to that. But if if we get the likes and we get the likes, let's see what happens. Mm. I'm gonna make a bare fake account. What? I'm going to make perfect. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Like I'll just it. delete them before so you don't see them. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, nah, it, it makes me really happy that people like look forward to our in-house episodes where me and you sit down and we chop it up. We talk life. We talk what's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, obviously at the start. Like a little catch up with the Gooms community. Yeah, man. At the start, obviously, like every time we do an in-house, it was the most underperforming. But now like our in-houses are starting to perform better than some of our guests, yeah, which yeah, in yeah. itself is like, just something that we should be really proud of, I think. Well, every, every time I speak to someone that listens to the pod, like semi-religiously or like they speak, listen to it like every other week or something, everybody always says that they're like proper looking forward to the in-houses, man, which is so sick. I think we've got to give a lot of props to you with uh, your chat and shit skills. I think they come out in Me, the in-house. Bro, you were like a class A waffler. No. Nah. That's fact. No, bro. Bro, we're at the gym today, yeah. We're at the gym. And I, was, I said hello to this guy that I saw. I asked him like how training is like he was gonna stay at that like we're about to go on to next exercise fucking ten minutes later Chris was there talking to how he, he can't afford to do football right now no he said football bro <laughs> I goes oh are you like I didn't know what level he plays you, at you like finished your segment of talking and then he spoke I, I, I don't know whether he listens to the pod or not but either way like this is another dig we were just in a rush because our parking was gonna run out we had to bear rush our it wasn't even place. that long bro that was just like casual chat like we was just chatting. I didn't even chat to that guy like that on a level. Like, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm thinking about football and that. And I was like, oh, Saturday, like, would you get paid for it? And he was like, yeah, but it's tough. And I was like, yeah, that's the same with me. And then we spoke a little bit and that was it. No, it Fuck wasn't you. It just that. It went on for a little... I was there thinking, I was like, come on, man. I was like, we need to train. Why didn't you start your set then? You were starting no, because... older. Yeah. No, because... nah, I wasn't talking, bro. I was <laughs> waiting for you. Was Fuck you, you, bro. I do like a waffle. Yeah, you're a class A waffler. Everybody knows that, bro. Like, it's nothing to be. No, I'm all right. Nothing, I think waffling. I think my, I think my waffle is actually you. a good skill of mine. I think it's a good skill as well. I could use it, but I think like if I'm a waffler, then you're like more of a pancake. <laughs> See, what I did there. That was terrible. See, what I did there. I think I'm a decent waffler, but like I sometimes I just can't be asked. Yeah, no. Like, it depends. You can get two versions of of Chris, man. You can get a Chris that's like involved in convo, and Chris that just really. Just don't want to speak to no one. Chris, they don't want to speak to no one's dick. Nah, I'm not that yeah. bad. Why are you saying it like that for? Because you can be a dick when, you, when you're like... Everyone bare, can be a dick. bare moody. You just yeah, like, what? You just like strut around. <laughs> <laughs> just don't say anything. Yeah, there's, I'm not a dick. I'm not rude to people and shit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. You're not horrible to anyone. I'm just not... Yeah, I'm just not very enjoyable to be around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one on the chin. You're very easy to wind up. I think that's one thing. You, like, you can take it, though, but it's quite easy to get to you, I think. I think you think that I'm more wound up than I am <laughs> I in these situations. There's something so funny about, like, getting to you, though. Like, it proper makes me cry. And I don't do it to anyone else. So. <laughs> that's fucking gap. <laughs> nah, what? That's I used to be worse. I was worse. We're all worse. We're all dicks. But I think that's growth, though. Like, I, I remember, like, in the group chat back in the day, like, I will say this opening on the pod, like, we used to rip, like, bare random people for <laughs> no apparent reason at all. They'd be going about life normally. We'd see a story that we could, like, the smallest thing we could, take, like, violate, and we'd just go straight into group chat and violate it. But, like, <laughs> as, like, we've grown up, we've kind of realised that that's not a cool thing to do. No, it's not, man. Don't, don't hate on people that are just trying to do their thing. Spread and at the end of the day... Not- Make peace, not war. <laughs> You'll never ever get hated on by somebody that's doing better than you. That's always that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's shown that a lot of people that not not so much we used to give time to because they probably didn't know that we used to have a laugh and stuff behind closed doors. But that doesn't happen anymore. Why? Because we've moved on and we've got better things to talk about. I guarantee there's people that chat shit about us and about the podcast oh, and this fact. clip and this clip and whatever. But love are you doing it. more a month than us or are you like living? I do it like, do it like Goggins, man. I listen to it whilst I'm running. Listen to the haters talking. Yeah, bro. Like <laughs> it's like 
keep talking, keep running up my algorithm, keep doing all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, if you were doing better than me or doing better than us, not so much even just financially, just in general in life, I think you'd prioritize your time a lot more than trying to bring someone else down or mm. having someone else's name in your mouth. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think like what you said earlier is growth. It's just growth. Facts. This, Facts. When, when I say we used to violate people in the group chat as well, this was like when we were like 16. Yeah, and this it was, weren't, it weren't heavily deep. Ago. Like it would, Nah, bro. It, like it was never anything deep, but yeah. we were just like... Yeah, we, just the, being the, kids. The way, the way we would violate something that wasn't deep at all was like horrible. Even each other? Ah, oh, facts. We like, used, I was thinking about this the other day. Personal bro. jokes had gone for to, months. To, bro, there was a joke to to one of the boys in the group chat. I don't even want to say his name because it's like, I, I, I don't think he'd like it. You'll know who I'm talking about, but from like the age of 13 until... Now. <laughs> yeah, kind of still now. <laughs> kind of just, we, just, we just violated him for this one thing that happened at my house in Cyprus. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's one thing in Cyprus. You know exactly what it is. I think I know who it is, but I'm trying to think about the one example... Do you not remember? We were like 13, bro. We all went on a night out, got back. There was a phone and we like, we put a video on. We were saying that it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, but that good. joke still stands to Good times. Day. But like not very nasty though. Like it's, he'll join in on the joke now. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> you never answered. How's life been? You never actually answered that question. Um, you just said about the podcast and the in-houses. So, Yeah. Life, I think for me, I'm in a, I'm in a transition period right now. I think we both are, mm-hmm. where it's like I'm so ready for the next step, and I feel like everything's getting ready to be on the next step. When I when I say next step, I mean having a few more financial benefits, being here, there, and everywhere, being able to kind of actually live our quote unquote dreams. They're not that far, and we're in the mindset where we're already there, so it's like that. That yeah, in between yeah. stage where we're like, I want this. Like, for example, this time last year, if you'd have said to us, Oh, Cyprus, we would have said, Oh, yeah, we don't have to get to time off work, whatever, we'll just go. It'll be calm. Mm-hmm. It's come around, everyone's in Cyprus and we're at home like some brokies putting our yeah, graft in. I'm not, I'm not that bothered though, man. You've, you've already been on like four holidays this year. I'm I've just giving you an ex- like three. I'm bro. giving you an example though. Like, no, 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 I, do you I, know I, what I mean? Bro, like, I hate the example, but it's not that deep. Like, it's such a small sacrifice. And it's like, I was actually watching some stories of Cyprus the other day. This is going to sound like I'm such a cunt. Same but shit. But like, I was, I was looking at them. I was like, like, yeah, I want to go to Cyprus, but I'm going to be here with the people that aren't doing anything that I truly want to do in life. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I that, think that, I think you're deep in the Cyprus thing. No, no, more no. Than, I know, I know. I'm, like, no, how no, much no, would we love saying? to go home, see some family, no, go and explore, have some sunshine? No, one thousand. Do you know what I mean? I but we're not we can't. missing out on anything, though. Yeah, I understand that. But also at the same, like in the long in the long term, a trip to Cyprus for ten days with our laptops, being able to work out there wouldn't be that deep. But we have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that's why the transition period is. Yeah. It's, it's prioritizing everything that we got here. As but well. yeah. It's just like these next few months as well, like, is is like there's like a, a lot of things that are like over the line, but like just about to start and mm. things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in a now look, we're, business. We're, we're, the we're business comes first, bro. Yeah. Like, and we we both know that, and we both are in that same mindset, and um and yeah, like you said, small sacrifices for the long term wins. Mm. That's it. It's, there's that TikTok man of that girl. I've just reminded myself. What the, girl? The, I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't tell you her name. Really she, context. Just, she just has a podcast or she was just on one. I just, I've just i seen this clip multiple times. Oh, the times. girl that's got Drake on and stuff. That's mad. No, though. not her, bro. She's fucking boring. The one, no, bro, it's like a motivational podcast. Do you know podcast. she got one with um Thingy? Oh, what's his name? She Mark Cuban? A, she did a thing with Offset as well. Lil Yachty, it? Offset, Drake and Mark Cuban for your first five eps. Like, what the fuck, man? Mm. She must have had so somebody she was she was on tiktok yeah i did a bit of research she was on tiktok and she was like doing her thing that like kind of like amelia Mm -hmm. like that awkward kind of say thanks for interrupting me by the way what i was about to say the thing about the girl oh sorry yeah that's cool carry on though but yeah but you know like about like that that awkward kind of thing that amelia does with Mm -hmm. the rappers and stuff it's quite similar she She, probably got it from her because her first episode was drake bro like that's fucked. She must have had somebody that's like quite high up in that industry to be like, oh, yeah, we'll pull strings for that. We'll pull strings nah, for that. I don't think so. It, the way that so some girl that's around. on TikTok that just like, just bro, dr- shouted bro, Drake. Bro, nah, bro. Drake probably shouted her. Like, bro, Drake's always the, like, he's always giving like small, like small fish a chance. And like, he's always like sharing the most small people on TikTok that he just fucks Why with. Why her though? Why did he, he fuck just, with her like that? He probably just threw her stuff and just, it just probably just made him laugh. 
That like anyway, go it. go back into your TikTok girl. Go no, on. bro, because the, the everything's changed now. Like, nah, go on, on, I want to know, I want to know. Nah, she was just basically it, it was just she, she just quoted about like the <laughs> it's basically what I already said about the sacrifices now. Oh right, for later that, that was basically it. Oh yeah, that's like every coming the dick. The way that she said it was quite nice. <laughs> though, I can't think about. <laughs> what a break. Stay hydrated. It's <sighs> Yeah, it'll be bare funny on the pod if we sat opposite each other. And we did, what's the thing when you put the water in your mouth and you slap each other with your tear? Yeah, that'd be bare funny. What about when I caught, caught Zach at the house in Cyprus? Towel. Yeah, hard, like a right hook. <laughs> His whole head went... <laughs> and then he never even laughed. He went... And then I spat on him as well because I was pissing myself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Drake's dropping an album. Yeah, when's it come out? See, everybody thought it was going to come out on the Friday just gone, but... No, still touring as well. Friday. Is yeah, this tour going to come matter. to the UK or what? Well, he hasn't announced. He will announce UK dates, but not yet. You see, like, bro, they look so good. i am be honest, though, I can't afford it. Bro, like two bills. Is it actually two bills for a ticket? Yeah, bro. Bro, it was two bills when we went. It was like one, like one, like one sixty. We got, well, we got good like tickets. We got good tickets though. Yeah, bro, they're just standard tickets. We didn't get VIP. No, nah, we were in the middle. Yeah, but we were seated, banging in the middle like of the, bro, and the that stage, was, and, that, and that was like four years ago, maybe. Three years was ago. it? Probably four. Yeah, probably four years ago, bro. Pre- it was it was pre COVID, yeah. Bro, easy two bills now. Maybe two fifty. Drake's bro. It's mad, it's isn't it? Drake. And, and he'll sell out, out everything. Yeah, fact, everything. Drizzy, um, I'd love to come see you, man, but I can't afford it. So Maybe take out a loan to go see Drew. Hopefully, he's in one of the podcast episodes. <laughs> or like come up on his for you page or something. Yo, man, you'd these, be surprised. These gooms, man. Wait, you'd be <laughs> you'd be surprised how many like like. No, you never People know, bro. People status that have actually probably seen our stuff or anybody yeah. at home that makes content that have probably seen your stuff, yeah. even if it gets a thousand views. Like, oh, what was that? You never that, see that, what on the say, other I end. I was say, that clip of me, made you think they put out a clip of me, didn't they? And yeah. the clip only had like, th- like what, like 10,000 views or something? I think not even. What, like six? Whatever it was. And, and they it was posted signing? it, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. They posted it and then it got like 60K on their Instagram account yeah, as well. Yeah thing is we wouldn't even known about that if it wasn't for i know because it was a there's private probably, account as well there's probably so many things like that that actually go on yeah you know what you're, pro- you're probably right i was actually thinking about this the other day mm. you know those things that come up that like vine nostalgia on tiktok mm-hmm. and it's like oh taking me back part one or whatever yeah, and yeah. it's like loads of the old memes look at all those chickens and like <laughs> i'm in my mom's car yeah, yeah. all this stuff you know that why the fuck you lying that guy mm. that put the little kind of skit together how many times has that video been screen recorded and used in YouTube videos, in podcast clips, in whatever it is? Oh, and goodness. he doesn't get anything yeah, yeah. from it, but it's just still going. Mm-hmm. Like that video is probably not even like you can't even monetize that video or whatever because mm-hmm. it was Vine and Vine's non existent anymore and whatever. How many people still have like that piece that he's put together and use it and distribute it still to this day? And he will never know. And it's just crazy thought. Do you know what I mean? Like it just keeps going as well. That's where I first found out. To, going back to the start of the pod, that's where I first found out about Jake and Logan Paul. Was buying back in the yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they yeah, used yeah. to kill it. Yeah, bro. Oh well, they said it on the thing as well. Like we were just making videos. It's like okay, well, if we can get five thousand posts, what happens when we've got this many followers? Yeah, we can get yeah, ten, yeah. fifteen, twenty, hundred. Smashed it on mine. But I'm sorry. This is gonna. I think Logan's a dick. You know, <laughs> Logan's a dick. He just is, man. You can tell Jake wants to be a tight brother that they stick together and they fucking get after it together. But Logan's just a dick, man. I think he shits all over Jake as well. Like, as in, like, he, like, in, like, a nasty way. I don't know. I don't well, like, he Logan, puts Jake with, down. Yeah, bro. I fuck with Jake heavily. Like, Jake's a hard worker, honest. I feel like, although, I think, like... I think we just maybe see more of that, though, from Jake, because it's visible. Maybe, but, I mean... You, and who's I mean, to say I mean, that... I mean, I mean, we've both listened to Impulsive plenty of times, bro. And especially you, I know you listen to it more than me, so you probably have a better insight. But like, just the stuff I see of Logan, bro, like I just don't um, fuck with him the same way that I fuck with Jake. Like, yeah, but I feel like you can take a lot more. Like, you you find similarities in Jake that you maybe don't find in Logan, just from what you see. No, no, no. I, listen, I do hear that, but the way that I'm looking at it is like, I just don't think that Logan's like as as loyal to Jake as to Jake would be to Logan. I don't know, man. Like, bro, if 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 I, right, okay, go back to like him when he was saying when Logan was saying to Jake about how he should be fighting, he should have fought um Nate, not Jake, and stuff like that. If that was me and you in that situation. We're not even blood, bro. There's no way that either of us would say that to each other. Yeah, I so, get that, like, but I also he, think there's part of that which is like 
Logan knows what he's doing because he knows Jake's gonna have a little snap, and we might as well get it on camera. That like, could that could be it, but like, but I think that's massively part because the boys are like, let's have this convo off chat. Or Mike even said during that podcast, like, I need to ask you this question because we're gonna have to cut out about forty percent of it. None of it was fucking cut out, bro. Because I watched the whole thing, yeah, and I know exactly what he was talking about being cut out. Mm-hmm. Like, who gets the final say of what stays in, what doesn't? Logan. Logan. Yeah. What did he put as the thumbnail? These clash heads, okay. they do this. They, listen, like, listen. I think it's calculated. Listen, another reason why I don't fuck with Logan, bro. Look at what happened with George, bro. You know, taking a piss out of him for believing in God. Like, yeah. I'm, like I'm sorry, but like, yeah, I get, cool, that. Bro. I get that. And the thing is, is Mike, like, from what I understand, from what I've seen, is Mike would pick up the phone and chat to George and like see if he's okay. And mm-hmm. he was the he was the only one that 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 checked up on him. But yeah. like Logan just laughed at him. Yeah, but he put, he put, he just looked at him as like, like an employee. I'm not saying that's right, but yeah. that's just how. That's probably yeah, either, what that either, dynamic either, was. Yeah, either way, though, like you said, bro, like that's not right at all. Yeah, like, there's you things. Treat, yeah. No, you don't treat no one like that if no one's feeling good. But again, do you not think that maybe part of that might have been like this is going to get people to talk? Like, nah, bro, because George, like, fully, like, from what I see, bro, like, was upset hates. by it. Yeah, bro, like he started his own podcast now and shit. Like he's he got. But that's I, I used to I like him sure as well. Got got from good uh, energy, positive. huh? He had good energy. I used to like him. Yeah, bro, he's he was a always good vibes. He's funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have brought Jeff in now, and I do like Jeff a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff's funny, man. He's like got that weird, cool kind of like edgy banter. Which what is about like, what about Bob that was on our full send? I wonder. I wonder if we'll ever sign like another co-host. I think it's like very, very plausible in the right time. Yeah, once fact. we can actually I, I, monetize. I, like, I mean, I know that we both like the way that Full Send, they'll have like a few hoes, like they'll have yeah. Radu and he'll come and sit in for a couple of Well, look, as, like as, as on a whole, Legumes and GMS brand umbrella kind of grows, I think people that we would bring in would be people that would tie into every aspect of our business. And I've that's... Just thought, I've just thought two things. Go on. First one, every time we sit on the pod, mm. I think like it gets, it, it fires me up a little bit, you know, like it's still like it, it's like a nice reminder, especially when it's an in-house. Second thing, <laughs> second thing, Bradley Martin is 260. No, I would have Bradley Martin in a street fight. How much, how many, how much do you weigh? Not 260. <laughs> I'd still have him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, he makes me cry all the stuff. He actually was laughing about it with Sean O'Malley. Of course he's but laughing Sean, about Sean O'Malley, it. Sean O'Malley, this, this could have just been for a clip, but Sean O'Malley was like, Brad, like you grab hold of him, you're like 100 pounds heavier than me. I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, but that that's just facts. Like yeah, that's yeah. why big dudes walk around like they're big dudes because they know that I might not be able to shift as quickly as you guys, but if I get you, mm-hmm. I could squeeze you to the point where your eyes pop out mm. if that's what it came you know what to. What it is is most guys that are Bradley Martin's weight and size like wouldn't be able to move, but Bradley he Martin, can? like yeah, bro, like he's agile, like you can. Yeah, see but him bro, don't forget he dedicates shit. his life to his body. And that's yeah, how he's know, built but everything. Tra- yeah, but he trains like a bodybuilder. It's not like he goes out and does like... You say that, but we don't know. Just, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he can move, and I don't think it's a coincidence that he can move. He probably does some stuff that we don't see off cam just because it's not very on brand for him. A whole that. lot of fucking... He, Bradley Martin. Facts, he yeah, fucks. Yeah, he and I, do you reckon he leaves his hat on, though? Because his airline's making yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 facts. He's always wearing a hat. Do you reckon he, like, puts it to the back at least, though, so when he's a missionary, he can at least kiss without, like... <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, bump straight into Do you it. ever have any, like, accessories, like, actual clothing on when you're in that state or not? Not regularly. Like, uh, me, like, I can't even keep, like, like a thin bracelet on or a well, ring. My, my Apple Watch is on. Nah. Well, I mean, Your I Apple Watch, sure it feels I, like skin, though. Like, I, I to, couldn't keep this on. I have to track my activity. <laughs> 200 calories burn yes sex actually burns 275 calories per hour on an average weekend i probably burn around 700 cows then is that it? <laughs> fuck you no on a, honestly on a real on an average weekend i probably burn about 50 cows <laughs> can't stop eating at the moment man because you're running like a motherfucker Literally, bro. You know, I've run a hundred kilometers this month. Anyway. How many? How many weeks the you 16th. out? Obviously, we mentioned the marathon last time we run it in house. How many weeks you out? It's three weeks, bro. It's not even far. I feel ready. So this comes out on Monday. So it would be you run on a Sunday, right? No, nah, Saturday. Yeah, okay. three weeks. Three weeks. Well, three, three and a half. Three weeks, ish. two days ago, basically, for when the pod comes nah, out. No, bro. The it's on. It's on like the next. So it'll be three weeks this Saturday. So three and a half weeks out. Yeah, so what I'm saying is three weeks, two days ago, because this comes out on Monday, innit? Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Fucking our crunch time then? Yeah. I've, well, I've ran, I've ran 100 ki- kilometers, this, kilometers this, uh, this month already. Yeah, that's, that's tough, calm. man. And then 
by the time that the month's finished, I'll tell you how much, how far I would have ran. But like, it's been really nice to see you dedicated to something and to see you like, like really invested in something. It's nice. Twenty. It'd probably be close to two hundred. Two hundred and ten kilometers. By yeah. The, no, fuck. Two hundred and thirty, bro. By by the time I do my marathon, do you know how fucked that is. Oh, well, I know it's fucked, but yeah. Fucking hell, bro. Giving Goggins a run Look how for his happy money. He gets, man. Giving Goggins Such a run a for his geek. money, bro. <laughs> Giving Goggins Don't know about that money. Yeah, fact Don't know Have about you seen that Have that guy on TikTok That's training to beat His pull-up world record I haven't That's That's crazy though The thing is He'll just come back And be like Fuck that And he'll have a goal in mind And he'll just go beat I th- it I think I, I think Goggins would love it If someone beats him Like he, I, I think it would be The best no, thing ever so. for him Yeah, because nah, he'll nah, have nah, Another challenge nah, Yeah, he'll have another challenge But I feel, I feel like He'll love it That like someone else Like suffered and like did it you suffered you earned my respect I oh bro I fucking love Goggins man he actually does make me feel something when I see the clips of him hey just a little Goggins lover man you're a fucking Goggins dick rider you are and a Tate dick rider Tate's alright I like Tate I keep seeing stuff of them in prison bro and it's making me think that it's fake what Why? how is there videos of them two in prison uh, did it, is that what I saw when Trista was on a bunk They're bed the be- that makes no sense bro I'm sorry but that does make no sense I actually saw that today I they're out of, They're off of house arrest though, bro. No, but uh, like I, th- I think from what I get from it, it's like these are clips from when they were in prison, bro. Why would they be video? Nah, taken? bro, because Tristan was talking past tense. So who's to say they haven't just gone and created a set that looks like that and they're doing what some do video think? stuff? Maybe. Because the be. video that I heard was like, I saw a video, uh, I saw a thing of a, a Thai man and the devil took him into hell and, and God took him into heaven to show him what the afterlife was like. And it was something about people eating, but... Basically, they were on their own, and then people in the heaven was the same situation, but everyone was helping each other, and the company was better because that was like prison, was like prison. So mm-hmm. prison can be horrible, but because I was there with Andrew, it was okay because I was sharing it with good time. Because prison was fun, and it was on that on that bunk bed thing. I so. feel like I'd enjoy prison with you. Like I'm not saying that. Like I, I think I think we'd probably piss each other off. What do you think, bro? Three months, yeah, no sure. phone, no outside activity, nah, little bro, food. What do you mean? Be calm. How what, how would we piss each other off, bro? How would, would he not be moody? Would we not be you'd tired? Be, yeah, you'd be. You would like be as dick. well, bro. Yeah, I'd be all right. But what, what what happens when you want to get out and get your get rid of your mental block or go for a run or and you can't, oh, bro? I'd just do bad push ups and pull ups and shit on the bunk bed. To be fair, we probably would come out hench, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, bro. Facts. We come out bare well. like air squats and shit, bare lunges, <laughs> bro. You can, bro, you can work out in any space. Do yeah, of laps, course. Laps of our prison cell. I can't imagine the prison cell being big enough to lap. I was taking the piss out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel like a like two 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 strides and then you have to turn yeah. around. Oh, no, I mean, you get headache. You said that, man. Of course, we can't in prison together. No, bro. I'm not saying we're gonna fucking kill each other in there, we are we? The I'm, best of a, like a bad I'm, situation. It's just gonna be tough, bro. We're gonna have nothing to keep us occupied, really. How much are we gonna be able to work out a day? Two hours, three hours yeah. max. Then what, we're gonna talk about loads of old stories. We'll have some conversations about conspiracies. But then what happens once week two, week three, week four, and all of those conspiracies and conversations we'll find, have been bro, had? There will be shit that goes on in prison where we can talk about. True, like, we'll probably we be plotting, won't we? To be fair, we'd probably just use it as an like a brainstorming kind of bro, opportunity. We use it for everything, bro. Like I'm telling you, like I, I, I really do like imagine like life without like a phone for like three days or more. Like I could imagine it being like. You're so much more engaged in human conversation. You can hold. Yeah, I'm not saying the, I'm. I'm not saying the phone thing would be an issue. I'm saying more so, like, just me and you, there all the time on each other all the time. Like, it'd be a lot. Yeah. Obviously, you're a person that likes your own space as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, what happens after week one or week two or week three or month three? Yeah, and you're my like, own, my own me. space would be my bunk. I'd have top as well. Why? Wait, because yeah, nah, you can have top. Is top the gay you can one have top. in prison? Yeah. Why is top the gay one? It's harder to get up and down. Like, it's a lot easier to access the bottom bunk, isn't it? So what does that mean? Why does that make it the gay one? I don't know. I'm just saying, if you're going to have the top one, then it is the gay one, <laughs> isn't it? Fuck shit <laughs> off, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, man. Well, listen. LGBT, Careful, the LGBTQ community is going to come for you. What, because it said the fucking top bunk's gay? <laughs> yeah. You're the one that said it, not me. No, I asked, was it the one that the guys get fucked on? Because it is actually what? one of... One of <laughs> Who gets fucked, bro? Nah, we never bro. even said that. Nah, bro. Top or bottom bunk in we America. We've actually already had this conversation and we forgot. Top, top and bottom bunk in America, like in American prisons, from what I understand from podcasts I've listened to, like one of them means like... I can't remember if it is top or You're bottom. You're the receiver. One, yeah, one of them means you get fucked. <laughs> 
So basically, where was the biggest pussy in the like, uh, like you walk think, in? I think it might be top. I actually do think it might be top. Yes, you can have top. It's calm. I don't think. I don't think they're fucking in. <laughs> I don't feel like they are. They've just oh, got bro, if I had three months shit. without my girl, I feel like your ass would start looking juicy, man. <laughs> 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 I texted you today when I said, "Come open the door," and you're like, "I've got to put some pants on." Do you see what I text you or not? No, I said, no, nah, don't bother. I want to see them lumps. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I said, no, nah, it's all right, bro. Come down, butt ass naked. I want to see them lumps. <laughs> That's one thing my girl always says to me, you know. She was what? like, your ass. I wish I had it. We've got really good no, asses, no, 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 me and right. you. Yeah, I know. Like, even like, bro, my, like, it's weird, bro. My sister, my mom be like, how did he get the ass genetics and we didn't? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's just good, bro. Like yeah, it is. Yeah. If I shaved it up and like put on a s- sneaky pair of lingerie and stuff, that bro, like <laughs> facts. I'm even loose, bro. Put on, put on a pair of lingerie. <laughs> you know what about when Joey puts it on on friends? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm in. Uh, what does he say? I, I'm, I'm, I'm in with my masculinity. How does he word it? Yeah, he's like I'm comfortable like, yeah, with my masculinity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like they're comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit you just reminded me you're talking about fucking TV but Oppenheimer we haven't spoken about it because we haven't had in-house in ages Oppenheimer was sick I think that the way that the, the the film ended was so perfect like how it shows the raindrops like it did at the start of the film and then he says to Einstein oh this is a spoiler by the way if you no no don't it. do that don't do that because no, no, if it's a spoiler it. just, just fast forward 30 seconds so you, you can't do, do spoilers on the pod just this is a spoiler. If you need to forward it, forward <laughs> spoiler it. Alert, spoiler alert! Spoiler <laughs> alert! No, but like when he says that when when Oppenheimer says to Einstein, when uh, when he says like I think we've started the chain reaction. Yeah, like it's fun. And we've got right? it because it's so true because it's yeah. Yeah, and he goes, "What about if they were talking about something that wasn't you?" When they say to the guy that plays um, Tony Stark, oh, in Strauss. Iron, yeah, bro, I was you know the conversation, and no one that's listening is even going to understand this. But obviously, I went to go watch it again with my girl because she wanted to watch it. You when? Yeah, I told you. No, you didn't. Did I not? I Fuck you. I told you I was going with her. Anyways, I went to go watch him, my girl, and the Strauss, bro, like he did, he did want him before he did the nuke. Um, no, I told no, you no sorry, not before. It was after. It was after because he wanted to get him part of like a project to like recreate him, and he said no to him. That's that's when he kicked off. It was all after. I still can't believe you went again without me. So I was I just like, yeah, man, let's go. Okay, should we go today? Oh, I've got stuff to do. Two days go by. Yeah, should we go today? Oh, I've got stuff to do, man. Sneaks off with his girl and goes and does it on the sly. Say no more. Say no more. I had, I had M&M's. Uh? I had M&M's again as well. What, from the machine as well? Fuck yeah. you, man. <laughs> M&M's. What colour did you get? Um, Purple. Purple? Actually, no, no, Yellow. no. Now we got a mix of every single one. Oh. Even though the taste's no different. But why didn't you do that with me then? I don't know. I wasn't as fast. Did you sit VIP? Yeah, of course. Fuck. Sat VIP with you, you dick. Yeah, because I, I was paying. So I actually think she booked the tickets as well. I got the snacks. So you keep get putting the short straw in these cinema mean, dates, bro? Man. The tickets like twenty quid. I paid like thirty pounds for our snacks. Thirty pounds for the other snacks as well. <laughs> Don't worry, man. My hands going straight in my pocket. <laughs> now H is a bit tight sometimes. Oh yeah. Now said speaking of Aki's a, pod. Uh? you said this on Aki's pod. That's cap. That's one thing that I feel like we're like very like very good at, and I'm happy about that. Bro, you said how I am, bro. When people like are tight with their money, like I get pissed off. To, There's nothing but, worse, you know. I get pissed off at them, and I say to them, "It's been multiple times with like people that we know that we're close with." Like, yeah. and I've had to say something to them, like, "You've been fucking serious now, like yeah. about like five, ten, twenty pounds." Yeah, no, nah, it's nothing worse, bro. I, I like it's cringe, man. Fucking it's really, up. yeah, it is, it is, man. And the thing is, what's annoying is like a lot of the people that are, are actually people that have got it. Like the people that are tight and broke, I. I get it. Do you know what I mean? I understand to an extent, but the people that have got it, there's even people that, bro, look, we've been growing the business now for like close to, well, 10 months. Mm-hmm. And we're the first people to be like, okay, well, how much do I owe you? Even though we're growing a business and whatever, yeah, yeah. people that are within our circle or even outside of our circle that are elevating in their jobs and making more money are the ones that are tight. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, like, I could know. never be Actually, me, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's just you're generous and then, People are going to be generous back. Like they're they're going to be more willing to be generous back to you. you yeah, mirror saying? mirror just mirror the behavior that's yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. put towards you. I get that. Just come to my head, bro. Mm-hmm. We just took on a pretty cool project. Well, we're halfway through it, really. Fucking rebranding a private jet car- chartering company. That's, that's pretty cool. fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Me and uh, our clients going to fly us out all around the world on the PJs then, or what? I hope so. Either <laughs> either way, man, I'm gonna have my own, anyways. We'll, we'll, well, we'll have one in the business. The the, the, the Gooms jet. jet, yeah, facts. It would say GMS on the side, big big GMS. Yeah, 
like the OVO <laughs> owl on the wing, yeah, yeah. a Drake's one. <laughs> well, we'll have the podcast logo on it. We'll have Saturn on. No, we'll have a podcast set on the plane, and that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that'll be fuck, our USP. How big is this plane gonna be? That'll be a USP. We'll just have our set on the plane, <laughs> and like everybody will come on, and it'll like be filmed. E-Man's one. Is that episode come out yet? That you did with those boys or not? I can't I believe that know. we didn't tie you man down to that episode, man, because those boys were better early in their podcast career as well. I haven't seen it. No, nah, I'm pretty sure you man came out and openly said, like, I'm not going to do podcast this year. Yeah, he did. He was said that was the year. only one that he was going to do. Yeah. I can't remember where I saw it. Was it on a podcast? He, he, he posted it. Oh, right. Okay. He's a fucking G, man. I look at people like that. No, I look at nah, people like, no, you, man. like, just like, we were having this, com- I can't, was I with you or was it with someone else? I can't remember, but just thinking about these guys, like, like for example, Switzy, who was on a couple of weeks ago, like people like Eman, like these young guys that are really, really doing something special, bro. Like it's, it's amazing. Like how is Switzy is three years older than us, bro, and he's building schools for kids, bro, that don't have education and like hostels and places to put. He's putting roofs over people's heads that have been on this earth twice the amount of time, some maybe even more. Mm-hmm. And he's been able to do that because of where he has got himself to. Like, bro, that shit is so he's motivational, doing a 20, bro. Pound giveaway like every week on his that story. shit's so amazing, bro. And like, although these guys are playing with big money and stuff, like, imagine how much stuff they actually do behind. It. Like, that's that's just I get I get a massive kick out of giving, and it mm. like I think we both do. To be fair, just to be able to do that for somebody else as well because you're you've got it. Like, wow, man. That's a fucking achievement, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's a fucking achievement. Even just to get where they got to is a fucking achievement to be in honest itself. You, bro, just be doing it young, like I think that's the best part about yeah, it. Yeah, bro, hundred percent. Well, what fuck, did fuck being a, like fuck, bro? Forget like fucking forty and a millionaire, like yeah, bro, bro. Like have like playing the long game by just buying property or just by investing in stocks and waiting until you're forty, fifty to see return. Like fuck that shit, bro. We bro, I be rich we now. can do that stuff anyway. Uh. Just so that when you get to that yeah, rage, no, there's more, percent, and that's the stuff that you're setting up for your generations after you and stuff, bro. bro. But like, but like, I want to be a young man. Yeah, bro. We're living in a in in a day and age now where it's like very plausible for you to make that money, mm-hmm. and like, it's not easy because we would be millionaires now if it was easy. But there's so I, many I, different I, ways. I disagree with you because. Because there's so many different ways, I do think that it is easy. What's hard is the consistency and being persistent. Yeah, to get there, not to start. That, that, that's what's hard to everybody. But yeah. I, th- I, th- I think there's, I think it's easy because there's so many different things that you can do. Mm. There's never been so many options to like to an, a remote business that you can start ever. Literally, bro. Even like um, on the little series that Eman did, like he was talking about like just being a remote salesperson for companies and taking twenty percent commissions on everything you sell. You're selling a sofa that's ten grand, bro. That's two grand. You might mm. you might have three, four, five, ten calls a day. If you sell two, it's four k a day, bro. From four a four k a, <laughs> a day, bro. From your laptop, sat on a beach or in a hotel yeah, room somewhere yeah. in the like. Do you know what I mean? Like that's crazy, bro. You don't even have to be your own like a boss. Uh-huh. Like, there's so many different, even just oh, things man, like keep, typography or, or blogging and stuff for companies and writing. Even writing, you know, the emails that you get from Domino's. We've yeah. got this offer yeah, on today. Well, right in the yeah, bro. Do you know how much money the person that makes that would get, bro? And they might do that for five, six, seven, ten different companies. Like, it's crazy, man. Nah, I reckon Domino's have, like, in-house marketing. You'd say that, bro. But the in-house, what, they're going to have someone on a salary to do that? Or they're going to just have their in-house team, which is an agency that they pay the same that they'll pay a salary, but it's off their back. Listen, potentially. I don't, I don't know. I we feel like when there's know. so many tiers in the corporate company like that, like, that's just... Less yeah, things that we need to deal with. I, re- nah, I don't know. I feel like we'll never know anyway. But if they do use agencies, they'll use us one day. They want to use us. Dominos, their adverts are brilliant though. Like order now for half time and shit. Oh yeah, like yeah. they are good, aren't they? No, Bing, isn't ching, that, ch- is that Dominos or just, no shit? Yeah, no, that is Dominos. Dominos pe- yeah, just eat as well. All of them. Pizza Hut or Dominos. Pizza. Or no, not just pizza overall. Pizza Hut. Really. Yeah, I don't really order anything else apart from pizza, bro. Oh, the side, the domino sides, bro. Yeah, the only time I ever really get sides whenever I've ordered pizza is with you because you like them. <laughs> and I just eat them because they're there. Because I've got to get a meal in. I, th- I think that there's like, they just shit though. Like, there's nothing special about the wings or the Hate chicken them, dippers and shit. It is true. Chicken strippers from Do- Domino's, bro, when they're fresh and they come and they're like, I just like a nice pepperoni pizza, dip. man. From Domino's. Nah, that's Oil basic as well. Hut, ham and pineapple. That's all you need. I have ham and pineapple. 
You like, like pineapple, don't you? Yeah, I do like pineapple on pizza. You know when people ha- bear hate on pineapple on pizza? I don't really understand it. Pineapple's bang. And I just love pineapple on the whole. I had like a whole, like not a whole pineapple, but I had pineapple with my breakfast today. Bro, I, I, there's, there's been plenty of times where I've eaten a whole pineapple. There's not that much meat on a pineapple. <laughs> meat. That's what you call it. It's like the meat in a in a in a watermelon. It's the best. The, the best meat. Thing to call it. Watermelon's best fruit. That though. I actually think it's either cigar up oh, fucking. It's either figs or a uh, or watermelon. They said it wasn't a fruit though. It, but technically, it's not a fruit. Figs are a flower. But that's something you motherfuckers didn't know. You're a flower man. Apparently. Learn something new every day. My dad fucking walked into the office the other day. He was like, is this a fucking jungle? <laughs> That's like such a your dad thing like to three, say. There's like three plants in there. Fuck's going in here? You trying to fucking grow a greenhouse, are you? Speaking of greenhouse. Your office. We need to get an office. Yeah, no, we do. Bro, we can get an office for like 150. Like, it will only be a small space. But we can definitely get should one. Should we just do it? Actually, I, should we I just do it? I said this to you the other day and you were like, nah, man. Like, we, we need more space because we'll do the pod in there and shit. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, bro, if we're we'll going to do our tires out down. Yeah, bro, just get cheap one for 150, sign a six month lease. And, bro, like, we'll, we'll work better. In fact, we'll work better. If we're opposite each other, we'll just be busting each other's balls all day, every day. Nah, you're right. You're right. Well, being like that working from home environment is. I feel like, bro, if we don't even need to get one in town, we don't. Well, who said anything about town? Nah, I know, but like, that's I'd rather like, not be my, in town. my head always just would go to town. But if we just find one like in Warnden or one near here or something, we'll, we'll find something, bro. Yeah, just che- need a space, bro. Yeah, bro, cheap as well. Yeah, we'll have a look. Fine, bro. We'll have a look. Yeah, yeah. But we would go in there and we want to make it look quite cool as well, though. Yeah, but we're just, for, the, for the moment, we'll just have to take everything from home that we've got. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying by make it cool, I mean like put some photos up there and like yeah, some yeah, graphics yeah. and stuff. Well, on all the of wall that stuff can go through the business anyway, so technically. If we go through the business, we're not broke and we can afford it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The big, you know I mean? we're broke. The business isn't broke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a <little> bit, yeah. <laughs> What are we on? We'll get there, bro. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Oh, shit flies by. We've been rolling. I'm getting hot. I'm boiling as well, bro. I can feel my back sweating, my pits, man. Yeah, let's round off then. Let's Fuck round off. You know, bro. I sweat bare in the summer. You know, I do. Yeah, we literally had the sun for one day as well. I know, man. It's horrible. It, it, I actually just can't help it, but I just in the summer, man. I'm just. I don't think it's a nice trait. A sweaty put. I don't think it is either. I think we just need to be can't more exposed it. to hot. Yeah, do you know what? That's actually like the, train bro. Your body. There's actually science behind that. Um, Andrew Human spoke about it. If you, if you like layer up in the summer, it like to, at the start of the summer, it will actually condition your body to to be able to handle heat better. And oh, then, wow. if you towards the winter, if you wear like less clothes, so if you walk around in a t-shirt for a little while maybe in the autumn when it's colder mm-hmm. your body will, will be better prepared for the cold and you won't be as cold i think i am I, pre- I i deal with cold better than i deal with heat i do both in the same cold don't bother me i still bang i still go to the gym and invest nothing on no but this is what i'm saying but if you go like you wouldn't be able to no, go to the gym now with a fleece well on. at all bro why you pull up to the gym every day man like this it was during the summer man it ain't even been cold and you're pulling up in like a full tracksuit. yeah to be cozy bro not because i'm cold like that's just comfort thing but, like, I could go out for a walk uh, or, like, go outside and be in a shorts and a tee and, like, yeah, or yeah, run yeah. with a shorts and a tee and I just get it done. But, um, but yeah, listen, I think let's round it off. Uh, well, I can't stop yawning. Am I that fucking boring to you? Nah, it's fucking up. Maybe yeah. I need to breathe more. When you yawn, it's just your body getting oxygen in. I'm going to go into round off now. Third time. Guys, thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to round off instead. Fuck you. Catch, catch us later. Um, yeah, Peace. listen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, H. <laughs> nah, on the real though. Um, appreciate you all. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. YouTube, Spotify. Got to keep the lights on. And we're on the way to a thousand subs, so make sure you do that. And um, yeah, Shit, we love yeah, you no. all, man. Fuck yeah. Thank you for the 200 new subscribers as well. Yeah, shout out all our new subscribers. And uh, see you next week. Love, catch us later. Peace.